What's up guys, Marcus here, back with you on our new Low and Bassett channel. Hope you all are doing great today. In today's video, we will start off doing a couple things to the Duramax in the shop. We will start off with changing the fuel filters, and then we will tackle that front center flap issue on our Fisher V-Plow we've been having. Also, we will have a surprise ride along with us part way through the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Enjoy, you beauties. All right guys, the fuel filters are now changed and I know some of you diesel guys are wondering why I was on the driver's side of the truck changing filters when usually on those 2005 LLY Duramaxes the fuel filters are located under the hood. Well, when I got the truck, luckily it had an aftermarket air dog setup on it, which I am very happy with so far. And if you guys, any of you guys wanna know a little more about that, maybe I'll do a review about that in a separate video. But, um, it had the setup on it when I got the truck. I'm very happy with it. It's located uh, behind the driver's side door on the frame rail, which honestly, as far as location, is not ideal, especially when plowing snow, but it is just something that I'm cautious of, and I do have plans to relocate the system in the future. So now the filters are changed, the fuel filters. Let's uh, tackle that center flap that issue that we've been having on our Fisher V-Plow. So 
So we got those uh, fuel filters all changed. That That's a nice setup. That's an air dog setup, which is on it when I got it. So I really like that setup right there. So we'll uh, move the drain pane and then we'll tackle this uh, the flap on the pile. So what we're gonna do is somehow take some of this material off here so this can go up, this sits in the middle and it rides on the ground, that way it, it takes that middle strip that I was talking about, the tail, the snow tail as well. So it's pretty thick rubber, I gotta figure out a way to cut this down.
Alright, so now you will see me battle that rubber flap for a bit, and I actually end up running out of space on my camera that day, so what I will do is pick back up on a clip from the following day when I have my other camera there. The center flap is all on, and I show you some close-ups of that repair. So I ran out of video time yesterday, but I just want to show you that flap I was working on. I got that all fixed. I'm not sure how long it'll stay on, but we'll try it. That's it right there. You'll see I had to cut it down quite a bit here, through here, right here, so it'll go up and you know, not hang down below the cutting edge. So I think it'll work, or at least a few storms will try it out. Those are about 30 bucks a piece. so. We can get a few storms out of it at least. I don't mind replacing it, you know, a couple times a year. Once a storm, it ain't gonna work. If this whole, you know, if it comes off this time, I'll have to figure something else out. So let's back this out. We'll get the sand truck in here. Guys, one thing I want to highly recommend, I got a couple of these, uh, Snow Joe product, they don't sponsor me at all, I just, I love the product, they're fairly reasonable, I got it right off eBay, I'll put a link in the description, but highly recommend these, you see we got our logo on it, but um, wicked, easy to use, seals right up, or packs right up nicely, compact, but you just screw that on, and then this is fully adjustable, and, I mean I can reach right over my trucks and everything, so this is, I, I love this product. I just wanted to mention that real quick. I got a couple of them. I got two for, I think it was under 40 bucks. So, pretty cool product. I just want to show that real quick. Another thing I'll do, a couple people ask, they notice the lawnmowers in the background, the uh, first video we had, but um, I'll make a video maybe. These Dixie Choppers, there's not many around my area. I've been using them for oh, almost eight, eight, nine years at least now. I think I got that one. Uh, when I get that 2012, I think. So, yeah, about eight years or so. I've had that one, and I got that one a couple years ago. But they're great machines. Just replaced this motor last year. It had a Generac on it, and I think Briggs ended up buying Generac out. So, um, that's got a Briggs strap on it now. So, really happy with these mowers for what I do. I do a lot of uh, mulch mowing. So, great mowers. You'll see all the equipment we got over here stored inside. A couple power brooms, a couple leaf blowers, hand tools, three or four trimmers, plenty of attachments, but I'll do a review on all that stuff in the next video. Back to the storm. Or not storm, it weren't even a storm. Shovel in here. So we're on our way to 
to, it's actually Freedom. Clean up a uh, driveway. Lady's trying to sell her house over there. I think it's a long shot, honestly, but she's trying to sell her house and she has uh, a few people coming to look at it around one o'clock. So it's 11 o'clock now. We're behind this freaking sand truck again. Salt truck, state salt trucks. We got plenty of time. Haley's ready to do some shoveling. What's his name? What's Jingles? Is that Jingles? <laughs> It's a good day. I got Kaylee Paley with me. So don't get much better. Come on. And we go. So we're going to do a little, uh, Perspective of snow plowing in Maine from an eight-year-old. So, Kaylee, what's it like plowing? Yeah, take the phone. Tell them what it's all about. Well, it's to get snow off the road. Um, it's really helpful for some people because it gets snow off. Make it so they don't slip and fall? Yeah. How many times have you been plowing with me? I think this is my first or my second time. Second. You went last year, a couple years ago, didn't you, Linda? Oh, yeah, I did. Who was with you today? Who was your co pilot? Who was in the back seat with you? Rosie Who's and him? Jingles. Do you think they like plowing too? Yeah. Rosie's just enjoying Alright, well, that's snow plowing from an eight year old's perspective. We'll keep her entertained for an hour or so and then she'll be ready to go home. So we're all wrapped up over here in Freedom. Just want to show you a quick shot of that front flat that I fixed the other day. She's hanging on there good and looks good. You'll see it does a good job in the driveway cleaning up. Don't leave any middle strips or anything. Works good. Well, you beauties, thank you so much again for tuning in and checking out another one of our videos. Or maybe this is your first time checking us out. If so, make sure to subscribe. We are getting quite a few new folks rolling in and joining our journey. It's pretty exciting. As said in previous videos, it has been a fairly quiet winter um, up until now. As far as snow is concerned here in Maine, however, looking at the forecast, that's about to change. Make sure to tune back in soon. We'll be making the journey down south tomorrow morning to pick up our new plow rig and, plan, and I plan to document that trip. So make sure to be looking out for that video in the next day or two. Until then, soar high beauties.